Hey everyone, this is John Rocco for Collider Video. Look, I got a chance to see Alita Battle Angel today. The embargo dropped, so I jumped on a camera to talk to you all about it. I would say that I came into this thing cold. I didn't know the source material, so I wanted to see what this film had to offer someone like me. And I will say this, overall, I felt the film was a bit underwhelming. There are some good moments, some nice scenes, some great action. The visuals are incredible. The design of the movie is phenomenal. Robert Rodriguez certainly deserves credit for uh, directing some incredible action scenes. Unfortunately, I think overall, the emotional beats of the movie don't 100% work. We have characters that we are introduced to. They don't get a lot of back development about why they're in the situations that they're in, why they feel the way they feel. We do get enough with Christoph Waltz, who plays Dr. Ido. He's great, but Jennifer Connelly, who plays... Uh, someone really important in his life, and Maharsha Ali, who ends up becoming someone you need to be watching, don't get enough character development to make you understand their decisions as the movie progresses. But the standout here is Rosa Salazar. I know that her face is CGI'd, and they do, they're using some of that technology that you see from Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, but you're still able to see Rose's performance. A lot of complexity, a lot of nuance in these emotional beats that she has to play. Uh, unfortunately, and this is ironic to say, the film itself felt a bit robotic at times or a bit cybernetic with not enough heart. I wanted to see more from the actors in this movie and from the script itself. I will say the script uh, being written by James Cameron and Robert Rodriguez and uh, Leda Kalogridis I was expecting a little bit more here, and unfortunately, I didn't get it. Uh, overall, I think the film will work for some people. Certainly, there's enough here for uh, young teenagers to look at and see and connect to the story. Maybe they don't need uh, that massive amount of character development on these other characters, but when they die or when things happen to them throughout the movie, me as a viewer, I didn't feel that because the film itself didn't give me enough to uh, latch onto with these characters so I could feel some kind of emotion when the things happen to them in the movie. Uh, the story itself, overall, this is where you, know, where you talk about, okay, she's the girl is Rosa Salazar, uh, Alita is found in the scrap heap. She's put back together by Christoph Waltz's character, by uh, Dr. Dyson Ito. And then where we go from here is what the film is all about. Her discovering who she is, getting her memory back, figuring out where she belongs in the world and what her mission is. And of course, there's a love story here uh, that I think doesn't quite work. There is moments of chemistry, but not overall a, a good amount of chemistry between these two actors. And unfortunately, I think that that's what makes that love story suffer. That being said, if you enjoy visually stunning films, this film just might work for you. Maybe you don't need that extra character development for all the surrounding characters that I would need. So I would say to you like this, my score is six for this film. I felt it was underwhelming overall. There were some good moments of action, some great visual stuff to keep your eye entertained, but unfortunately I felt overall the film didn't quite hit the mark. All right, well, that's my non-spoiler review of Alita Battle Angel. Go see it. See what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Remember to like and share this video on your social media and subscribe to Collider for more videos and reviews just like this.